Hey, I'm Pete with Moscow Moto, and today in this video, I want to talk about our Strata long underwear kit. When we first talked about the idea of making some Moscow long underwear, one of the first questions we asked was sort of why? I mean, we all have tons of long underwear kits already, usually from skiing and other winter sports. And so do we really need another one? And what could we even do to kind of improve on that? And one of the first things uh, we hit on when we started brainstorming was that we'd all had the experience of waking up on a cold morning. Usually we've slept in our long underwear and our sleeping bags. We get up and it's chilly and we know we're gonna start the day riding cold, but we also know around 11 or noon, it's gonna start to warm up. Or if the riding starts to get more technical, it's gonna warm up and we're gonna wanna take the kit off. You know, we have our boots, our knee armor, our outer pants, all this stuff, and we're out on the trail or we're under highway bridge or whatever and it's just a headache and so a lot of times we would sort of either suffer through the cold morning or suffer through the heat in the middle of the day just to avoid that hassle and so we asked ourselves what we could do to kind of improve on that and we came up with the original idea of kind of a zip off bottom uh, so the strata you can uh, put it have it on in the morning and then when you want to strip down you just kind of push your outer trousers down and there's two fully separating side zips on the strata that you can pull down and just kind of pull them out and then pull your outer pants back up and keep riding um, and then we also decided to make them three quarter length because um, with the uh, motorcycles you have your typically a sock that's going to cover a lot of that gap and then also you have your boots which are pretty thick and heavy and then typically an over the boot or in the boot pant so you already have some substantial layers around the bottom half of the calf. So there's no sense in having long underwear extend that far. And we can make it kind of nice and loose and easier to get on and off and also have it slide over your knee armor. So once we had that concept for the strata bottoms, then we moved on to the top. And the first thing we did was add this kind of quarter zip here, which gives you the ability to add some additional ventilation. Like if you unzip your jacket down that far and then unzip this down, you get quite a bit of air flowing inside. Um, then the second thing we did was we added this uh, helmet compatible hood so the hood is, sits really tight to your head and your helmet just kind of slides on on top. And what that does is a lot of like enduro and ADV helmets uh, are very well ventilated, which is great on a hot day or in technical terrain, but when it's chilly, it gets really cold. And so this gives you an extra layer of insulation underneath your helmet. And then also really key is that it covers this gap on the back of your neck and stops drafts from traveling down your jacket. So it actually adds quite a bit of warmth. And then another added benefit of it is that sometimes when I pull over to the road in the middle of the day, if I'm getting drowsy, I wanna take a nap. I have the hood on and I'll actually pull it down over my eyes like that and use it as a little eye shade. So then after we added the quarter zip and the hood, um, we were messing around with our prototypes and we were like, hey, this is actually turning into a pretty cozy little hoodie shirt. And so we added this awesome little kind of pass through kangaroo style pocket on the front. Um, which just makes it really cozy for like hanging out in your tent, for hanging out around the fire. And it also presents as kind of just a normal casual hoodie. So you can pull it on over like a ratty t-shirt on your trip or a base layer and walk into a restaurant or a bar and nobody would know you were wearing your kind of technical long underwear mid layer. Unless it's super cold out, a lot of times in the mornings, whether I'm in a hotel or in my tent, I'm just lounging around in my strata kit. I'm tearing down camp and stuff like that. And then when it comes time to get ready to ride, I can pull on my knee armor. I can pull the, the bottoms over the knee armor, and then I can also pull on my elbow armor and pull the strata top over the elbow armor so I don't have to strip down to get my armor on when I'm ready to ride. The material we chose for the strata is really cool too. It's called New Yarn. It's a proprietary branded fabric. It's made by a company in New Zealand, which makes sense because there are a lot of sheep in New Zealand, but it combines kind of the best properties of merino wool with the best properties of nylon. So the merino gives you the warm when wet and anti-stink, and then the nylon gives you the strength and quick drying, both of which are super handy on a long trip. Another cool thing about New Yarn is that instead of twisting around the core, they actually draft it onto the nylon. So it doesn't have all the little pokey bits that you get a lot of times with wool. And so it, it's just much much softer against your skin. So even folks that typically have issues with wool probably won't have that with this kit. When I think back to some of those early design conversations about whether there was even any space for us to innovate in long underwear and whether there were any specific needs to adventure touring and enduro that weren't addressed by long underwear for other sports, it seems almost funny to me um, because it turns out actually there were a lot of things that are very specific to adventure riding. And I feel like we've really checked a lot of those boxes with the Strata kit. So I love mine, I use it for moto, I use it at home, I use it for other outdoor sports like mountain biking and hiking. It's just a great all around long underwear kit. If you have any questions about it that I didn't cover here in this video, please leave a comment below and we'll reply or you can always send us a note at moscomoto at moscomoto.com and we'll get back to you that way. Thank you so much for watching.